Hello guys, in the last three videos I have been showing you how to install a Java JDK which is Java development environment to build your Java application and how to install Eclipse to build your uh, Java programs and compile them with uh, this IDE and in the last video I have shown you how you can add window builder plugin in Eclipse to, uh, to make GUI application in Java using Eclipse. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can write your first program using a GUI plugin or Java builder and we are going to make our first project uh, in which uh, we are going to make the Java GUI using uh, window builder plugin. So let's get started. Uh, just fire up your Eclipse IDE and we already have installed win window builder so when you go to file here and choose new uh, new option here first of all what you need to do is you need to create a new project for uh, building your application so what you need to do file new and just say new java project this one and in here you need to give the name for your project okay so for example I am going to give uh, the name Java GUI demo for example okay and then all the uh, settings will remain same I will click next and everything is okay I will click once again finish so it has created uh, a new project for me which is Java GUI demo and uh, there is nothing much in this uh, project folder instead of this subfolder called source and there is no file inside this subfolder. So we are going to add a project file or Java uh, file in here uh, to make our GUI. So go to your project which you have created and go to this source folder subfolder there and right click this uh, source folder and go to new and go to others or other this is the last option okay and in here we are searching for windows builder which we have installed in the last video so just search for uh, this option called window builder and in this uh, window builder we are searching for swing designer and we want to select application window from here okay so just select in window builder swing designer application window this one click next and now you need to give the name to your uh, class for that uh, new window so I will name it as uh, for example frame 1 okay and I will click finish and this will create me uh, this frame one dot Java class and in here it's you can see already some of the code which is generated by Eclipse uh, for you okay and when you click this you have uh, this design view of your project so there is a source view of your project and the design view of project and in this design view you can design your uh, frame whatever application you are working on and in the source uh, view or your source code you need to write the the code behind your uh, GUI okay so we will start with this uh, design view one thing you will notice that it's a very small area uh, you are working on and to uh, increase this area so that you can uh, uh, easily see this uh, whole frame uh, and other things you just need to go here at the top where your uh, frame one dot java tab is there just go there and double click it so click this two times double click it and it will increase your area and it will hide all the project uh, wizard here and class wizard here okay and when you want to go to once again to the last view view you just double click it once again okay 
so double click it will maximize and double click it will come to its real state okay so double click this and now we can see this frame much uh, easily okay now to add a component in this frame there is uh, this wizard or this palette called tool palette or uh, and in here you have different tools to add into your frame okay so you have some button radio button and different panels split panels and different kind of tools which you can use to make your GUI application right so first of uh, all we need to add a layout to our frame so there are different type of layout but for uh, the first uh, video tutorial I'm going to use this absolute layout which is really easy to work with okay so I will just click this once you just need to click this you don't need to drag to uh, your frame you just click it and just move your mouse on your frame okay so click and move your mouse on your frame and just click it once again and then this layout will be added to your frame this is a layout so you uh, will not see any change because it's a layout uh, in your frame so it will not uh, be directly visible okay so just click this and add it here right in the same way for example I want to add a button to my layout which I have just added which is absolute layout I will click this J button from here just click it and then move your mouse to your frame okay and just click it once again and it will leave it okay and when you uh, leave it here you can add it your uh, content or you can add it the text of this button directly from here or you can what you can do here you can right click and you can do some of the things from here also auto size and uh, the things like action perform this is uh, very important here and otherwise what you can do is you can select your tool or component and you can go to the properties of that component and these are the property you can change for uh, this component so there are different properties for this component and one of the property is this text property and you can see in front of text property the text is new button and this is the text on your button so you can change this text by just going to this text property and uh, you can add your text there so I can add for example show message okay so I want to show some message when I click this button okay and there are some other properties uh, which you can use for example you can um, change the font for example if you want just click this font button here there's three dots button and you can make it bold and you can make or increase the size of this text okay and you can even uh, use different font family with your button and click OK and then you will be able to see the change immediately on your button okay you can also change the background you can just click this and there are different background for this button and there are different colors swing colors named colors so you can do many uh, things with this background uh, okay and there is something called foreground so background will change the background of this uh, button so for example I want to have the green background light green or this light green background and I will click OK and this will change the background right and I want to sh change the for foreground of this uh, I can do it also by going to the foreground property and I can choose the foreground for example little bit dark okay for example I choose this as a foreground and when I do this this text you will see 
the color of this text is changed okay so in this way you can play with the properties there are many properties you can play with and you will be able to change the property of your uh, tool or your component okay then then what you need to do is for example you want to perform some action when you click this button so you need to write some code for that okay so for example i want to show some message when i click this button how can i do it i will just right click my button and i will say add event handler okay add event handler and the first event handler this is a very basic event handler for every component which is action performed and this indicates to the basic action performed by the component so you can just go to action and just click action perform when you click this action perform you will reach to the code behind or source for this button action performed here so you will see this here public void action performed right and in here in this method inside this action perform of this button what you can do you can write the code to perform some action so for example i want to show some message when i click this button i will go to the design view once again and you can what you need to do in order to go to the source code for this button button action perform one you can do this one action perform or add handler and action performed from here or otherwise you can directly double click this button for action perform just double click it and you will reach to the same code here for example i want to show some message so i can write j option pane dot show so you can see some intelligence um, text come here so whatever uh, so this uh, eclipse ide supports intelligence and by the use of this intelligence uh, you will be presented some of the possible options which you can use it with your code okay so i will say show message i want to show some message so i will just write and double click it and you will also see the when you when you hover over this method you will be able to see some help in here which you can see and uh, you can uh, read about this what this uh, code uh, do okay so i want to show some message so the first argument for uh, this uh, will be null and the second argument will be with the message which you want to show so in the double quotes i can give my message so for example i can say hi youtube or something something else or whatever message you want to show so i want to show hi youtube okay and once again i can go to the design view or i can go to the source view from here and here also and i just will run this code from here so when i click this green button here it will give me the resource or save the changes so it will ask me do you really want to save the changes and then it will compile your program so yes i want to save the change so i will say select this um, frame1.java file and click ok it will save my changes and it will show me this message here right uh, and not the message but the frame yeah which is called j frame and you can see the background of this uh, button is green and foreground is little bit dark okay when i click this button i want to see see the message which i have written hi youtube so i will click this button and you can see the message here hi youtube okay once again so you will be able to see the messages like this okay so background color i really don't uh, i mean 
I don't really use this uh, background color I like the inherent color of these component which is this this uh, inherent color here so the second thing for example I want to add a text box so what you need to do take take a text box from here and click this J text field and just move your mouse to the frame and just click it once again and it says some error so I will remove this text box for now because it's giving me some error so uh, let's remove this text box for now okay once again I will reach to the message box so for example I will take a J label if I can find it is there any J label here J list editor so you need to find your components from here so here it is the J label so I can just click this J label and drag and drop to my J frame and I can change the text of this J label uh, from here also or from here also okay so new label I can change the text uh, message okay and it will show message here right or I can change the variable name for uh, this so when you are using a bunch of uh, different labels here and you want to know which label is performing what you need to change this variable name from here in order to you know uh, know what this label is doing so you can just write label and this is the variable name by which uh, you will recognize your uh, uh, label or any component so you can change the variable name from here so I will say label message okay so it will it has changed the name of this uh, label and then I can just double click this and instead of uh, using or showing the message from this J option pane what I can do I can show the message in the label also so I will say the name of the label is if you can see here the name of the label is I have changed it to LBL message this is so just copy this and in this button action perform just paste it and then write dot so what was the name of my label yes this was the name of my label and I can say it shouldn't it's not showing anything let's see why so I found out what the problem is when I dragged and dropped this label in here in my frame and when I have seen uh, this label its uh, code is generated locally here so you see a J label and then the declaration of my label name or variable so what I need to do here is I need to copy this J label and the name of the label and at the top at the very top of my class just after wherever you see private J frame frame just below that just uh, write the declaration of the label also so just check whether it's already there if it's already there then it's okay otherwise we have to do it manually okay so just you need to just uh, forward declare your uh, label name as a global variable here and in here you just need to remove this J label from here okay so wherever your J label declaration is there you just need to remove it and then this makes this label as a global variable and it can be called from other functions also okay so this is why we have done this 
because whenever we have dragged and dropped this label in here its code was generated locally by Eclipse and we wanted to use this label in other in other functions also okay this this label name so what we have done we have changed the declaration of this label as private j label the name of the label which you have given it and we have removed the declaration of this j label here and just we use the name j label is equal to new j label and this makes your uh, j label global and then you can go to design once again double click your show message once again i'll make it bigger show message once again and in this action perform of this public void action perform you can use this label message dot set text and i can set any text to this label so I, for example i want to just set the same text to the label also i can do it like this okay so label dot set text and i will just save my program and i can run this and when i click this show message now this label is showing hello and we it's not showing the full youtube because we need to resize our label from here so i can resize my label like this okay and now the size of label is bigger and now when i run the program once again it will show the full message hi youtube here right so this is how you can create your first project using window builder in eclipse ide in the further videos i will show you how to use other components and how to create some uh, interactive project using window builder in eclipse using java i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now